Hello everybody, welcome to another true review and today I'm bringing you 99 Vidas on the Xbox One. Sadly it is only available in US regions at the moment, priced at $9.99. Sadly Peggy's prohibited fees have probably contributed to it not being having a uh, European release. But what do we have with 99 Vidas? We have a side-scrolling brawler that uh, not only plays homage to all the classics, but also stands alone as a brilliant beat em up, a brilliant side scrolling brawler, which any side scrolling brawler fan needs to purchase straight away. Now, I've kind of spoiled the review there, kind of, uh, by letting you know what I think in the game, but it, it is honestly. I'm astounded by this game. I've not stopped playing it since I booted it up uh, the other day. I've uh, completed it numerous times and still enjoying it. It's just awesome. It's just awesome. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Uh, Vidas means lives, so the game is technically called 99 Lives. And uh, you're on a quest for 99 lives which have been stolen by the big boss classic kind of big boss character there's even a classic introduction screen which plays a uh, tribute to uh, like the classic Streets of Rage 2 introduction where Mr. Big is or Mr. X or whatever, whatever it's called I can't remember now is that uh, looming large over the cityscape and it just goes from there it's just one hit after another you start off getting out of your car which breaks down and you're outside a garage with the red car tribute to Double Dragon straight off the bat you get introduced to the first set of folks and it just flows from there four selectable characters from the get go up to 11 characters are unlockable and playable once you've managed to uh, meet the requirements there and each character is very very individual they all have their unique fighting styles they all have their unique combos uh, they all have a special attack which is based on uh, an ele element so you classic fire earth wind water that kind of thing there but it all just flows generally together the combos the, the kicks the punches the jumps, the sacrifice moves, you've got running moves to use, there's grabs, there's slams and like I can say each character is uniquely animated and have their unique combos and it just, it's just awesome, every character just feels like they're a joy to, to play Going on to the uh, the enemy cast, the enemy cast is varied as well, and there's not an awful lot of color, color palette swapping going on. There's quite a lot of unique enemies, from the the bog standard folks to the uh, the women uh, enemies who uh, briefly fall down onto the knees. Again, classic Streets of Rage uh, one reference. Them annoying uh, leather clad uh, ladies that uh, when you hit them they screamed and knelt on the floor for quite a, a long time before getting back up again. Uh, they kind of do that. Uh, there's the classic. Uh, um, you know the classic punk kind of bugs. There's even a Balrog tribute uh, from uh, Street Fighter 2 with the guy with the boxing gloves. Uh, absolutely awesome. The bosses, uh, probably the game's weakest aspect if, uh, if I'm honest with you, because they all kind of uh, go on the same kind of theme. You have to kind of like invade until they tie themselves out, and then they give you an attack window which you then pummel them for a little bit before you repeat it. They are probably the weakest section. I think they needed to up it a little bit more, but they are, they are still good. It's just that the same kind of uh, principle in defeating them is, is applied for each and every one. But graphically, it's awesome. I mean, you can just see on the screen the, the, the levels are varied. There's a, there's a flow to the levels as well. You're on a journey. You don't kind of like walk from one place to another like some beat em ups uh, generally do. You go from the street to a game store. You actually go through the game store on level two, leave it, go into parks, walkways. Uh, there's a park scene. There's a there's a rainy uh, street scene. There's the classic climbing uh, Mr. Big um, or the Mr. Big Bosses building at the end there, and uh, a classic confrontation which is very very similar to Final Fights when you um, beat the final boss in the wheelchair, and then uh, the unique classic twist at the end when you think you've beat the final boss. He reveals his true form with the 99 feeders power and um, you're in for a hell of a fight to uh, to be in there. I can't, I can't really recommend this game highly enough. It's just it's just brilliant. It's just a real joy to play. And the, mu the music, I've not even gone into the music yet. I'm sorry, I'm, bab I'm babbling. I'm that excited for this game. The music is truly awesome. I would say this is the best music for, for a beat-em-up since Streets of Rage 2. 
it obviously plays a lot of homage to it and there's uh, I think there's I'm sure I could hear some of the beats from Streets of Rage 2 within the tune there uh, so it may be borderlining on um, you know infringement there but I don't care it's just bloody awesome and um, it's just an, I mean, I'll, I'll stop talking for a minute or so and just let you listen to the music from various stages it is that fantastic <laughs> In terms of uh, longevity for this game, it's, uh, I've, I've completed it five times already. Admittedly, on the easiest difficulty setting, and I'll explain the reason for that. The, the footage you're actually watching is on the easiest setting, which is called Easy. Now, the reason for that is your characters, um, the points you earn from beating people up and at finishing the levels, you spend it in a store to upgrade your characters, and the upgrades are permanent. And they do make a significant difference because when I first tried to play on the hardest difficulty setting, uh, whilst you can progress so far, you literally get your butt handed to you because you're, you're not powerful enough. So it is a game where multiple playthroughs are needed to level up your characters and get those permanent upgrades, and then you can simply spend all your hard earned money on. On uh, extra lives for that hard um, elite playthrough, which are going to be quite a task to actually complete. As I say, there's 11 characters to play, so there's, a, there's achievements attached to all, all the characters there, getting all their upgrades, completing it with various combinations of characters, uh, completing it in local co op. There is online co op as well, although I don't know if this is an issue with the game at the moment or there's just simply nobody playing which would be a crying shame if that is the case but I couldn't find an online game I'm actually going to message the uh, developers to ask them if everything is working in order for that but uh, if, if that is the case this is a crying shame because I, I am saying this in my opinion this is one of the best beat em ups in a generation it is literally that good and that awesome <laughs> For a genre that's uh, been dying out and suddenly neglected for a number of years, this is a complete breath of fresh air and out of the blue after the disappointment of the uh, zombie brawler beat em up that we had recently. This I wasn't expecting much admittedly from the, from the start and it is just taking me just taking me utterly by by surprise it, like I say it, it is up there with the best of the brawlers and there's just so much to play so much to unlock on this and all the characters just shine individually the music the graphics the the tributes the homages to the past beat-em-ups if you if you've played them for all like I have from uh, the classics like Double Dragon Final Fight to not so classics like Mug, Mug, Mug Slasher and there's this weird clown one as Mr. Baseball Man. Uh, you know, I, I've played them all. I absolutely love the genre and I can hand on heart say this is one of the best. And especially since it's a dying genre as well, that one that's uh, sadly neglected, this just 
it's just astounding that somebody's been able to put this together and it, it's just uh, it's just awesome stuff definite definite high recommendation to to buy this um, I think I'm gonna have to invent a new uh, rating for games such as this because just giving it a recommendation is simply not enough it's a must buy instant buy for brawler fans instant buy for anybody who likes an arcade game a local co-op game an online co-op game once it starts to uh, starts to work or people are playing it this and this needs to come to other regions this needs to come to Europe it needs to come to Japan it needs to come everywhere it's just a brilliant game to be played I'm gonna leave it there guys I'm gonna let the game speak for itself I just really really enjoyed this and this is definitely gone into my uh, top three games of the year straight away without a shadow of a doubt so thanks for watching guys please remember to like comment subscribe and share the video and most importantly buy this game buy it enjoy it love it play it online with me it needs to be played it needs to be experienced awesome beat em up well done guys at uh, Cubite uh, Interactive thank you for making this game